Well, I tell you what, a lot of people have written in telling me I shouldn't be hanging my hammock set up from a tree without a tree strap because I'm going to be damaging and killing trees. Well, let me tell you what, where we live, where we camp most of the time, we're in the junipers and stuff like that. You think you're going to damage that tree with a rope? I bet I could hang from a chain and I wouldn't hurt it. But anyway, I decided regardless, I'm going to uh, mess around with the tree straps and uh, work on a way to make them work make them uh, you know easy to use with our ponchos so I'm just playing around today let's see what we can do here throw that out of the way take the rest of this down and then we're gonna play around with tree straps just gonna put a little weight on the end of our cord this is Dyneema but we could do parachute cord just as easily same way uh, just drop that in there and shake it through So just like usual, once you've got your loop through the end, whether it's parachute cord or Dyneema, then on, on the other side you take the cord coming out of there and you're just uh, going to run it through there, cinched up in there. Once you got everything tight, now you're good to go. Now we're ready to do our, our straps. Now. These straps have a have an eye sewn on a loop, an eye sewn on one end, and starting part way down, there's a series of loops. And right now, at this point, we're not going to make these straps. We might at some point, but you want to get if you get some. You this is stronger if you get the kind that they come like come like this and then double back. And then they're bar tacked right there. That makes, in testing, that makes a stronger strap than the kind that are just folded over and just bar tack loops. Anyway, so this, this end here is your adjustment end. And this other end here is the end you put around the tree. All right, now I'm going to put this strap in the tree at a higher point than I normally do just because I'm, I'm normally yeah 12 to 15 feet apart on trees or somewhere thereabouts and I don't know I'm I'm at least I'm at least 20 or more here so I'm gonna put the strap up a little higher in the tree than I normally would so I just wrap it around and then I got this eye and I'm gonna pull everything through the eye and then cinch it down like that all right, this carabiner comes with this particular set of straps. It's got a little locking lip on it. And uh, anyway, so all I'm going to do is take my cordage that goes through my poncho here. I'm going to pull it up pretty, pretty close here. Maybe a hand's length away. It doesn't really matter. And then I'm just going to tie two half hitches and uh, that seems to work just fine. Pull them down good. Now the nice thing about the using these tree straps is I can just click this carabiner wherever I need to to get me the right amount of tension or you know for how I'm hanging between the trees. Alright so now you can see that that's a little bit low. I'll be dragging my butt on the ground on that. So I just unclick the carabiner, slide it up here, you know wherever I think I need to go, something like that. And I can try it out. If I need to tighten it some more, I can go more on this end. I got room to go on that end. And now I'm good to go. So it is, it's nice. I can hang farther between trees with a tree strap. And if I'm on delicate trees that are, I guess, in some other parts of the country, then I'm not going to hurt the trees. So 
that I'm using the straps. See how it all goes? That's a pretty comfortable hang right there. That's not bad at all. If I want to tighten it up, I can just move my carabiner up. Now I'm a little tighter than I was. So I won't hang quite as low. So, see it's pretty simple. Works well. Uh, tree straps do work well with the ponchos. Basically you're just tying around a carabiner uh, with your cord instead of tying around a tree. It hangs up pretty nice. I just switch from one tree to the other in just uh, about a minute. So you know that works really well. Uh, the disadvantage is of course this is about an extra pound of weight to use these straps and and you got another bit of it's about as much bulk for the straps as it is for the whole poncho and parachute cord or dyneema. So it's extra space, extra weight, but, you know, it does have its advantages too. So anyway, I'll keep testing and trying, messing around a little bit. Well, last night, this is where I slept. My uh, PSSL poncho and uh, multicam rigged it up to hang from the tree as a hammock. Put an underquilt on it, and since it was since it was raining, it was in the uh, mid to low 30s when I went to bed last night. The rain was kind of freezing a little bit as it came down. I just threw this one of our sur personal survival blankets, this uh, real tree extra. I just clipped it. I just clipped it on here as some of our midi clips, and then I just threw it over top of me, and that's how I slept. You notice I don't. I didn't put a tarp up or anything, and it uh, was light, light rain, light rain, misty rain, icy rain, all night long, and all I did was have this over me. Didn't get a bit wet, no problem. So you know you don't always have to have a tarp over you if uh, you know if it's not a heavy rain. You might do just fine with something like this. So anyway, Perry Peacock Wilderness Innovation. Just uh, giving a little heads up on just some stuff I'm messing around with as far as tree straps to be used.